All right, guys, welcome back to 12 About Town today. As you can see, we're out of the studio here at the Great Big Greenhouse with this guy back here, our favorite gardening expert, Doug Henso. So, Doug, we've got a lot here to choose from. Tell me about it. I love it. Yes. And I love ornamental grasses, and that's what I'm showcasing here, all these different varieties. Here we are toward the end of July, mm -hmm. and they love our heat. They love this time of year, <laughs> and they really put on a, quite a show right now, even with some of their flowers like this guy is yeah, doing right big. here. Um, so all different types. There is an ornamental grass for anybody, yeah, for any say, situation. They're very similar, but all very different at the all same time. All very different. All I very different. It. Different sh colors, uh, blade size. Yeah everything so and the one thing i wanted to point out ornamental grasses make a great container plant wow so um, they this is uh, we're using this one in this one as its accent to give some height right and then you can plant some annuals around it and then come a couple months from now in the fall when falls here you can take these petunias out mm -hmm. switch uh, pansies into it and keep this in here and just keep using this year round in this container. Wow. I'm always amazed at your containers. <laughs> yes, you, I love you, I, I love containers. But okay. but anyhow, you can see all the different textures. A lot of times when people think of ornamental grass, they think of only one variety, and that's the pampas grass. Okay. Which is stately. It is huge. It yes. gets 10, 12 feet tall with a huge white plume uh -huh. that sticks out even higher. Wow. Uh, for a lot of people, that's the only variety that they're aware of. I might have but, been guilty of that. <laughs> but this, this gives you an assortment of different heights, mm -hmm. different textures, everything about ornamental grass, even to the point where there are some even ones that are considered native, native. to our area. I love it. And so, for instance, like this one called Little Blue Stem. It's one of my favorites because I love the the color of sure. it and the different colors that it gives. So this is little blue stem. And we're out here um, in the sun. So this is a. And oh, you have they, more love they, they love the sun. They love the heat. They're low maintenance. Gotcha. So that's what makes them beautiful in my mind as well. Besides looking at them. Yeah. Another beauty is that they're so low maintenance. Yes. As long as they're right location. They love the sun, they love the heat, they, love, they can take the dryness, yeah. which is certainly what we're experiencing here in July. So <laughs> Yes, it yeah. has been hot, dry, and sunny, so I'm sure they're happy yes, right now. Yes, they are. <laughs> they are. All right, guys, look, that wraps us up here at the Great Big Greenhouse. But Doug, he's always here yeah. and ready to answer any questions you have uh, for your gardening, or as you're gardening. So if you have any questions for him, just send him an email, 12abouttown at nbc12.com. We'll have more 12 About Town today coming up right after the break.